As some of you may know, I have two different XP pen monitors for drawing on when I do my animations. And today I'm going to be comparing two, the two models that I use, the 12 inch and the 22 inch uh, artist XP pen models on today's episode of the Expat Animator. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to my Expat Animator series, where I try and help beginners, hobbyists, and independent animators create 2D animations. So, like I said, we're going to be comparing uh, XP Pen two different models, uh, and specifically for use in 2D animation. And those two models are the 12 inch and the 22 inch models. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Artist 12 Pro which is what I've been using with my work computer. And uh, the other model that I'm going to be talking about is the XP Pen Artist 22E, which is an older model that I bought in 2015. And uh, I actually use that for animating pretty much every day as well. So those are the two models that I've got and I've owned for years now. And I'm going to compare the pros and the cons of each of them uh, in regards to how I use them with my day-to-day -day 2D animations. So before I get going here, uh, there's three different 12-inch models that XP Pen makes. And today I'm going to be specifically talking about the Artist 12 Pro. And... When you get into the 22 inch models, XP Pen actually makes six different models. And I've got the Artist 22E, which I believe is only the second 22 inch model that they made behind the regular Artist 22. So again, that's the older model that I've got. And uh, just to give you an idea of what I'll be working with. So the 12 inch pros, let's start with the 12 inch, uh, basically because of the portability. And that's the main reason I bought this, uh, because I had already had the 22 inch and I was it was working fine for me, but I wanted to have something for on the road where I could take my laptop and a portable XP pen mon monitor to do some drawing or animating on the road. It's cheaper, it's a lot cheaper. It's probably one of their cheapest models that they make. Uh, I think I got it for around $280 a couple of years ago. Um, and that's definitely a pro for this, for this model. Uh, it's got better cable management than the 22 inch for sure. So you've just got the one USB-C cable coming out of the side, uh, but that does split into three different, uh, cables. But what you don't get is you don't have the, uh, the, uh, the power brick. So you just have three cables that you have to deal with. And it's a lot better, it's a lot easier cable management with this model. Uh, it does have the scroll wheel, which I, I, I use it, but I don't use it all the time. Um, and I don't wanna to get uh, too used to using it because when I switch back over to my 22 inch model, which doesn't have the scroll wheel, uh, I don't wanna be you know reaching for something that's not there. So I try not to use the scroll wheel a ton, but I do like that it's got it. Uh, this model, the Pro model, has the laminated screen, so you get that, uh, uh, your pen gets closer to the actual pixels, and the 22-inch model does not. So that's definitely a plus uh, that I prefer drawing on the 12-inch versus the 22. And the pen that it comes with doesn't have a battery, so you don't have to charge it, and uh, which is not the case with the 22-inch model that I've got, where I do have to charge my pen. So that's kind of an inconvenience that uh, the 12 inch gets to avoid. And uh, it's definitely got better colors on the 12 inch. It's probably because it's a newer technology, a newer screen um, than the 22 that I've got. But uh, it's definitely nicer to have more accurate colors uh, than what I get on the 22. So now let's talk about the cons of the 12 inch. And uh, the first thing that I want to say is that the stand that it comes with, uh, it's not great. It's, it's plastic. It, I, I like that they gave you a stand, but um, it's only got that one angle on it and it's not the best angle for your neck. So what I've been doing is um, I got a different stand uh, from Parbol, but get your, I would recommend getting your own stand uh, for the 12 inch if, you, if you've got one. 
Uh, there is no USB-C to USB-C functionality on this model that I know of. I've tried hooking up USB-C uh, cables to my computer. So you just get that one cable going uh, from the monitor to the computer. But I don't, I don't think it works. It doesn't seem to power it. Uh, and so you need to have that proprietary cable um, to make this work. Uh, after using it for probably about a year, my model got like a light spot on the bottom center of the screen. And it's not huge. It's like maybe like a couple inches wide and half an inch high or something. But it's something that's a little annoying. Um, it's just got this weird bright spot on the bottom of the screen. But once you get going, you don't really notice it. And um, it's not that big of a deal. The screen it, at 12 inches, I think it's actually like 11.6 inches diagonal. Um, Although it's great for portability, it's probably too small for 1080p, which is uh, the, the resolution that this monitor runs. Um, you can kind of get used to it uh, or switch the resolution to a little bit higher, something like you know 720p or something. But um, for using it all day long, it's a little too small uh, for, for, for me. So uh, I would say that that's a con um, for the pixel resolution uh, for the size of the screen. And uh, the monitor could be brighter. I've got mine all the way up at the highest brightness. Um, I'm not sure what the exact nits are. It's probably like 200 and something, I don't know. But it's not that bright. And when you've got it sitting next to a regular monitor, you definitely see the difference. Okay, let's talk about the 22 inch uh, Pros. So basically, it's got a really big screen. The biggest screen I've ever had to draw uh, and animate on and that's like the best thing about this monitor is I love the screen size but uh, and it actually it also has a really good stand so the stand lets you um, it's just got a little pull tab on the back and you can almost go all the way flat with it and it'll go almost all the way straight up so you could just use it as a regular monitor if you wanted to and then when it's time to draw you just angle it to a good angle for you and you get going so really uh, two great things uh, about this model that I like. Uh, so it came with two pens, which I like. Uh, the pens are battery powered, which means you have to charge them occasionally. I don't really have to charge them that often, uh, but I like that at least they gave you two pens. So like if one you're drawing with it and it runs out of battery, you can just switch to another pen and hopefully that one's charged up and, uh, and keep going. Uh, this model has uh, eight function keys on each side, so 16 function keys total, and the software is pretty easy to switch those up to um, you know, anything that you want to use them for. So that's a, that's a bonus because it got twice as many function keys as the 12-inch model. This model has the screw holes so that you can add a monitor arm to the back of it, and uh, then you can you know, move your monitor around uh, like floating in the air and at any angle that you want. I used to use that, but I don't uh, use it anymore just because it shakes a little bit. Um, so I prefer that the stand, using the stand that it came with. And now let's talk about the cons for this 22 inch model. Uh, first thing is the colors aren't very good. Um, I'm not sure the exact specs, but uh, you're not gonna wanna use this for color correction or anything like that. So if this was like your only monitor, uh, I wouldn't really recommend it. If you're doing any kind of color correction, um, you'd want to have a second monitor uh, hooked up, which is actually going to lead me to another con on this list that I don't like about this monitor. Um, it had some screen protector issues when I first got it, and I remember you know, the internet was talking about this and how to get rid of it or whatever, and I eventually just took the screen protector that it came with off of it, and then you're just drawing on glass. And you know that's kind of like drawing on the iPad. Um, without a screen protector, it's a little too slick. So I ended up buying another screen protector uh, and putting that on, and that seemed to fix my issue. So uh, it's just something, kind of a minor detail, but I, I know that the newer models seem to, it sounds like they fixed this. Uh, again, I bought this in 2015, so it was kind of a problem uh, on the earlier models. Like I said, the, the pens have batteries and you need to charge the pens. And it, so it's a minor inconvenience, but uh, I'd prefer to have, I prefer the battery-less pen of the 12-inch model. Uh, there are lots of cables with this. You know, there's three, three cables. You need the power cable, you need a USB cable, and then you need an HDMI cable. 
and the power cable's got a power brick. And so you just have a lot of cables like behind your behind the monitor that you have to deal with. So uh, when it comes to cable management, I, I prefer the 12 inch uh, over the 22 for sure. And uh, so again, this problem I have with the 22 inch is when I use it with another monitor, which you kind of need to, if you, like I said, if you want to get that color accuracy, uh, lately, as I've been updating my Mac to newer versions of the Mac OS, at some point I lost the ability to use two monitors with this 22 inch. So my workaround has just been using a computer with that monitor and that's it. And that solves my issue. But I found that I really like using two monitors. And when it, the problem I have is when I use two monitors with uh, the 22 inch, um, the software hasn't been updated since 2019. And so part of that leads to the problem of it's not working with the newer versions of Mac OS. And the exact problem that I have is when I'm drawing on the screen and there's another monitor hooked up, the pen input is going to that other monitor. And you can go into the software and try and like um, remap it to the other monitor, which is what the newer versions of the software do. But this one, it says like null or something and it doesn't let you do it. So the workaround is you just mirror your monitors when you want to draw on the screen, but it kind of gets annoying doing that and remembering to switch it from mirroring off, off and on. And so that's kind of been a pain point for me with this monitor in the last, I don't know, year, two years, something like that's been going on. Um, but if you just want to use it as one monitor, it's no problem. And I don't know what's the deal with the PC, but this is on the Mac and it's a problem I've been having. And I actually reached out to their support and they said, yeah, we're not supporting um, that older model anymore. So you're kind of stuck with the software that, that it's run, the last 2019 version that it's running. So in conclusion, um, I still use both of these uh, monitors for drawing and animating and just depending on what computer I'm on and what I software that I'm running I'll choose one or the other but um, I don't know if there's a real winner in this um, what I would kind of like is kind of a combination of the two where I've got the better screen colors and uh, cable management of the 12 inch on a bigger monitor uh, like the 12 inch, it's something that I can work okay with two monitors where I can work with two monitors with the 12 inch fine because the software is updated for my for my Mac. So having two monitors with the 12 inch works works great. So again, uh, it's probably just a problem I'm having because the the 22 inch is so old that you know I'm kind of getting to the end of its life maybe uh, or just you know it's not as useful as it could be. But hopefully that information helps you a little bit. And if you're going to make a decision between um, different XB Pen models, uh, specifically these, these two variations of the large size and the small size. And um, I don't really know that there's a correct answer. I know that if you want to go with the larger models, uh, the newer versions of what I've got seem to fix a lot of the issues that I've got um, with my model. So maybe that'll help. Uh, you can go for a bigger model. Uh, like I said, there was, what, six different versions of the 22-inch that XP's came out with. And there are other uh, brands out there too. But specifically, since I've got two XP pens, I thought I'd make this video talking about uh, the differences between the two of them. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. My name is Patrick. Thanks for joining me today. And keep on animating. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.